she will actually connive with you to kill me. Huh? No wonder you are so eager to help me force my dad to ride his wheel. So he will give me 90% of his inheritance. You're a witch. I call it you a witch. And you! Stop it! Everything too, and I beg you in the name of you, please leave my house. Where do you want me to go? Hey! I lost everything as well. Look at Ralph. So where do you want me to go? That is not my business. I lost everything too. Still on bed by this time of the day. It's unusual of you. Are you alright? I saw that girl in my dream again. Who? Sophia? Is that why you're bothered? It's just a dream, okay? Each time we lay our heads on the pillow, it's normal we dream of people would know. Not when you do things out of the ordinary, I mean the inappropriate. That's more reason why they call it dreams land. It's not real. Oh, your food is on the dining. You have an appointment with uh, Mr. Colley today, right? Phil is going to see her. I thought uh, you asked him to step aside, that you handle it yourself. Change my mind, please. You changed your mind over such an important prospective client. <sighs> but again, may I remind you that Miss Inkoli owns three lucrative firms and each of them make us the kind of services we offer. And who better handles it than the MD himself? Stella, you're supposed to be on your way to the office now, right? <sighs> And I'll see you at the office. Bye. Bye. How can I help you? Well, madam, 
I came with regards to the business proposal between one of your firms and mine. I thought I made myself clear on that. I can only deal with your MD, Mr. Ikem. But madam, I am the general manager of my company and I am here to represent him. Then go to my company and negotiate with them. If you must discuss directly with me, then get your MD, Mr. Ikem. But madam, please, do you allow me to... I am done with you, Mr. Phil. tried everything possible, but she insisted that she wouldn't discuss business with me any further. Well, you just have to keep trying, maybe she'll bolt. Ikem. Yes? I was already making progress on this deal when you said you want to take over. And I led you to her. But since she met you, all she wants is you. See, that's the problem. That woman just doesn't want to only do business. She wants something else. Then give her what she wants. I mean, this is a deal that will fetch us over 100 million naira. And it's going to be our biggest hit ever. Hey, hey, listen to me. Have you forgotten? I'm engaged. Now, if you do not see anything wrong with you cheating on your woman, I do. Like you're sure your partner has been faithful to you? This is a woman that spent over four years studying abroad. How sure are you that she never had any fun with the white guy? Listen to me. Don't you ever, ever, ever talk about my woman like that. Do you understand me? Never again. Yes, darling, I'm almost there, okay? I don't understand. I mean, have you seen it? What? I mean, how could she, knowing that I was coming to pick her up, let her father send somebody else to come pick her? Huh? In other words, we just wasted our time. You know, I, 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 right now, I just want to believe that she just enjoys disappointing me. Seriously.
Oh, Danny! Oh, my God! Oh, my God! It's good to see you out there! Oh, my goodness! How did you look so good? Thank you. Is this you? You look, you look absolutely look wonderful! Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God! Daddy, take a good look at your daughter. Mm. Wow! Yeah. That's my girl! <laughs> oh, my goodness! And I'm so happy to see you! I'm very, very happy to Aww. see you. Come, come and tell me all about this. Uh, Oh, I, I, yeah, it's so wonderful. Daddy? Oh, oh my gosh, you can't even believe this. It's beautiful. Hello, honey. Your stepsister is back. Yeah, you're right. She appears every inch your father's favorite. We better do something. Because this 90 days she's going to spend in this house will be very long. The war just started. It's okay. Alright. You see, the war has been fought and won. Don't worry, I'm in charge. Aren't you contemplating on using local charms on her to make her stay in Europe indefinitely, as in never to come back? Uh, my wife suggested that. And you know what I told her? That the day I find out she patronizes um, a native doctor, and that will be the last time I'll ever trust her. And she knows what it means for a man not to trust his wife any longer because she won't enjoy the marriage. And you know one thing I learned from my father? Practical men use these practical means to solve their problems. Only the weak-minded men resort to native doctors. She will have that work up she deserves. Buddy Kim, break up. Why are you exactly upset? Why? You know, at times like this, I usually doubt the love she has for me. Seriously, I doubt her love for me. I'm telling you. Well, if you do ask me, she loves you so much. Then tell me why, okay? Why is it that she considers her father every time before me? Why? I don't know. You don't, don't know. Buddy Kim. Buddy Kim. Does she work? Your brother stopped her from working. Okay. <laughs> She's beautiful. <laughs> In appearance. Not hard. Is she trouble? Mm. Not yet. Well, Dad, you know, <laughs> you might just be wrong. Maybe she's just being herself. You may be wrong. I am never wrong about anything. No. See, now that you are back, she will not be able to hold herself. 
Or it's time to bring out the best I have always known resides in her. Dad, I came here to have some peace. You're already scaring me. Stop looking for peace where there can be none. You know, the past four or five years, I have tried everything possible to make your brother see you as his sister. But he will have none of it. Oh no. Your mother is late. His mother is late. But he still wants to carry on this feud that, was, that existed between them. This uh, young man you are about to marry. <laughs> oh, yes. Now, tell me, do you know him that well? I mean, have you had time to court? Daddy, of course. I mean, whenever I come home for Christmas, I always spend time with him. How long is that? Um, three weeks? Dad. Hmm? Dad, where are you driving at? Me? Yes. Uh, I'm only inquisitive. <laughs> Daddy, I love him so much. And Good. that's all that matters. Okay? Mm. Mm. I'm so glad to be home. <laughs> I am glad you're home. I'm very glad oh you're home. Oh my God. Oh, that I'm so famished. I think we should go eat something. Now, something should be ready because if it is not and my girl is hungry, oh, oh, oh. head will roll. <laughs> of course. Oh, yes. Dad, what do you think you're preparing? I'm an absolute surprise. My specialty? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, please. My father pressured me, okay? Hey. Don't be upset, please. And as usual, you just gave in to your father. Before you traveled for your studies, you were doing this. Now you're back, you're doing the same thing. I'm sorry. All right, promise me you're not going to do it. I cross my heart. Come on, Ronnie Kim. Such a request. Hey, 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 Stella, stay out of this, okay? She just had a long journey and she needs some rest. Okay, please. Um, Ada, I know you must be very, very hungry. I just made a lunch for you. Um, to the dining, please. Um. <laughs> There's a problem. I um uh, I can't stay for lunch. I promised my dad to be back home. And it's almost time. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh baby, stop it. Tomorrow is Saturday, okay? I'll stay alone with you all day, alright? Seriously, don't don't do this. Don't you just added so to his injury. He has been complaining about you all day. The way you devoted much time to your father than him. Why? I promise. I, I know I promised that, but something just came up. I can't be home for lunch today. Please understand. Okay. Okay, okay. Thank you. Bye. I'm 
I'm sorry. I'm staying for lunch. I'm staying. <laughs> I'm staying. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> My name is Ada. I'm your husband's Kate sister. It's nice meeting you. My husband never told me he has a Kate sister. <sighs> okay. <laughs> um, you're welcome. was right about her after all. You should have seen the way she treated me. Like I was poison. Of course you know you can't go back there, right? Then where will I go to? Right here. Ah, uh, no. You know my father would never consent to that. Your father will consent to you staying alive. I mean, you have coped with Ralph's hatred now, Sophia. Come on. So you think running away is the best solution? It is easier to cope with a man's hatred than a lady's hatred. All right. Now, if she could display such an attitude to you on your first meeting with her, then you can imagine that she was waiting for you. Of course, you can now imagine what she has in stock for you. Daddy, listen, in less than three months, I'll move in permanently. I mean, what is wrong with me moving in temporarily? Many things are wrong. Apart, apart from being a slap in, in, in the face to me. I mean, it, it'll make you look cheap. Daddy, just, just take things the way they are. It is necessary that I move away from my brother-in-law and his wife. They hate me so much, they can do whatever it takes to hurt me. And you think they won't if you run out of your, your own house? It's cowardice. I'm just trying to stay safe. And by so doing, um, give the impression that your father is incapable of protecting you. Look, if you, if you continue to give in like this to, to Ralph, what would you do when I'm gone? What would you do when you have become his boss in the office? Um, that I, I don't understand what you just said. Immediately after your marriage, you take over the mantle of uh, uh, managing directorship of the entire group. How, how is that possible, Dad? I mean, I am hardly in the office. I just started going to the office recently. And I don't know much about the business. 
Yeah. So you have to learn very fast. Anyway, don't worry. Keep in touch with me and I will guide you in your decisions. get someone in Megasoft PLC who is willing to spy for us? Yes, madam. Good. Man or woman? Man. Good. It wasn't difficult by any mother. Of course it shouldn't be. With the hard economy, a few Naira notes wisely spent can buy anybody's conscience. Every dog has his price. So, this is what I want from your informant. Details of all existing and prospective clients. Okay? Okay, madam. Consider it done. Thank you. Nkali, I guess you have some tricks up your sleeve this time. So, what is it? He came most bow to me. As soon as I get to know who his clients are, I'll set to work. And he's going to lose every one of them. You want to ruin his business? Nkali, don't you think that's a little bit harsh? Nothing I do to him will be as bad as what he did to me. He put a spit on my pride as a lady. And no man has ever done that to me. Anyone who dares will not go scot-free. I will bend him. That I was told you are bringing in external auditors to re the company's account. Are you afraid that uh, your dirty deals will be uncovered? Are you inferring I'm a thief? Anyone who steals from his father is worse than a thief. Why don't you just say you're trying to pick a quarrel just to impress your daughter? I've come to know that she's pleased whenever we have a quarrel. And that's why you try to pick a fight whenever she's around. <laughs> you are kicking because uh, of um, external um, auditors. What would you do if I told you that uh, quite soon you will cease to be the managing director of a group of companies. And who is going to replace me? She? That's right. Um, that, that place. I have warned you that the time for peace is come and gone. This is the time for war. That why do you always start something you know you can't finish? But why? Sophia, where do you think you're going? Walking out on me? Sit down. Is it because I have been silent over the way you insulted my daughter the other day? Why did you tell her that you did not know that your husband had a sister? I'm sorry, sir. It's just that my husband never told me he has a kid sister. I'm very sorry, sir. Have you been sent here to break up my family? I'm disappointed in you. Truly disappointed in you. The last time I had misunderstanding with him, he said something of stripping me of my position and giving it to her that once she comes back and get married. You never told me about it. I took him on serious. I thought it was a careless word spoken by an angry man. I hate that girl more than anything else. Oh, I'm just waiting for the day she's, she's going to cross my path and I'll start by designing her face with my fingernails. And after that, what else? What would you do? Anything to make her pay for 
taking away my place in this house. And also by taking away my husband's position from the office. And you think I'm actually going to let her take away my position? I thought you knew better. In as much as my heart boils in pain and anger, I wouldn't want you to become fouling. That would be like playing into their arms. And that's exactly what they expect you. You see, we're going to do like this. We're going to do it in a way they're not going to expect it. They won't see it coming. They won't imagine it possible. Straight to the point. I take what I want. I don't beg for it. Take a good look at me. With this body, I can get Mr. President to do whatever I desire of him. Your business will start facing serious financial setbacks. Soon you will go bankrupt. And I will have the last laugh. You know how I'm going to do it? Contained here are names of the firms that patronize your business. of majority of those firms are my friends and they will be willing, more than willing, to do whatever I ask them to do. Do you understand? Frank! 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 Yes, ma'am. Take him away! Amendment of, uh, of, of uh, my will only affects one person, my daughter. The uh, ten percent allotted to my daughter-in-law is now been 
given to my daughter. Chief, what you're saying now is that Ada will now own 70% of your total properties. That's it. You see, when my son married um, Sophia, and that's my daughter-in-law's name, oh, I was very happy. Oh, I thanked God because I believed that uh, I had gained another daughter. But uh, recent events have proved me wrong. I haven't learned my lesson. I have decided that she will not get a dime from me. Even what I have given to Ralph is because he is my son and will always be my son. But as for Sophia, she has become a stranger for daring to disregard, disrespect my daughter. Chief, is there anything the matter? No. no. Well, that will be all as far as the will is concerned. If there are any more changes, I'll let you know. No problem. Since it's after her wedding day that she'll be put in charge of this group of companies, it simply means that anything you have to do to stop your dad, you have between now and her wedding day. It's simple. The wedding is not going to take place. In that way, she won't be able to replace me. How are you going to stop the wedding? I have already concluded my strategy. And you are involved. How do you mean? It is something that naturally you wouldn't want to do. Do you realize that our staff salary for last month has remained unpaid and our debts are rising by the day? We've just lost one of our clients, making it five. If you, okay, if, if you can just stop nagging, maybe you and I can put heads together and then we'll reach a proper solution, okay? We know what the solution is and we know who is behind it. Yet, you refuse to go and negotiate with her. That's the problem, okay? That is the problem. What she is, what, what she wants, what she's demanding, I cannot negotiate for, no way, okay? And that is my happiness, and I cannot do anything, absolutely nothing to hurt her. No, I won't do it. She will only be hurt if you tell her. Who is going to tell her? You or me? He can. There is something else I've not told you. Miss Nkoli wants to buy my 35% share of the company. In addition to 25% share of our third partner, Patrick. When that happens, she will be in control of 60% share of the company. Only God knows what will happen to you then. You guys cannot do that. No, you and Patrick can't do that. All we want is to secure our investment. I mean, this firm is going down, and we don't want to go down with it. Okay. All right. Okay. 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 Listen. Uh, 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 before you guys do anything, okay, just, just just give me some time. Okay, give me some time to think. Huh? Will you please? At least you owe me that. Huh? You can. You have just two weeks. I mean, two weeks to come up with something good. A handsome dude like you got me pregnant 18 years ago and denied the pregnancy when I was about to write my school set. I refused to abort the pregnancy. And today my daughter is in Harvard University. Okay. Um, 
Why are you telling me this, madam? Because I like you. <coughs> okay, um, yeah. Back to the proper reason why we're here. I remember why you were here. But fortunately for you, I'll give you the privilege of mingling business with fun. So, how about spending this weekend in my house? Hmm? I'm sorry, madam. I don't sleep around. This morning, good morning. Well, you hardly call me by that name, and when you do, I know you want something from me. Well, if it's about that decision to strip you of your position, there is nothing I can do about it. I'm tired of working for dad. I was already contemplating on resigning before he brought up the topic. You know what? I'm so eager to see my sister getting married. So I can hand over to you. So, uh, can I join you in your car? Of all the cars in this house, why this one? Is there anything wrong if I join my sister to work? I'm not going straight to work. Of course I know. You normally branch out, it came out before going to work. And that's why you leave the house very early. Never mind, I'll be in the car. And wait for you while you go inside and do all the fortunes and everything with your boyfriend. I'm going to interrupt. Nothing's gonna tear us apart I'm so in love with you I'm so in love, so in love I'm so in love with you No matter what I go through, no, no I'm so in love with you Said I'm so in love, I'm so in love Said I'm so in love with you Oh, I am so in love Said I'm so in love with you they try to tear us apart hey, yeah. But I know someday we're gonna get through it Oh, Stella, hi! Good morning! Good morning, I'm almost on my way to work Oh, hello. I was wondering if you are going to miss your usual romantic session this morning Well, I, I, I was about coming through the front door but I found out it was locked So I thought it wise to come through the back door Yes, I want to say my good mornings to my Incan. <laughs> um, see, Ada, the mess on his business is really, really telling on him. He needs you now more than ever, please. What is he doing here? <sighs> but we agreed that you should stay in the car. I'm changing my mind. Do I need invitation to come into my would-be in-laws house? Ah, no, I don't think so. Whatever. Why are you staring at me like that? Oh, you're so beautiful. I, I'm a man, your bag and your shoes. I got your message. And what makes you think I'll be patient enough to wait that long before I can buy your stake in Megasoft Consultancy? Patrick is not based in the country. And he wants to get back here so that we can both decide. Do you actually realize I'm doing you a favor, paying the full worth of your investment in a company that is as good as dead? Well, madam. 
I really appreciate your kind gesture. But there is no but. If by this weekend you're still undecided, then bid your luck goodbye. Good day, Mr. Phil. Sonia, have you decided? Ikem is at the moment having financial problems. And soon he will go bankrupt. Me. Remember what you told me, Ella, that your father wouldn't let a failure get married to his daughter. That way the wedding will not hold. We cannot rely just on one plan. I mean, what if he pulls a surprise and pounds back and the wedding holds? And then Ada becomes the MD of Dozier Group of Companies. We must force my father to write his will. But first, I must retain my position as the MD. And that will make it possible for the wedding not to take place. But we must not rely on just that plan. And you think the best option is by sending your wife to go and sleep with another man? That's sweet. Has anyone told you how beautiful you are? That no man, no man in this world will resist you. It will not only break the relationship between she and the king, but it will also break Ada's heart that she will find it very difficult to find another man in her, in her life. And that will give us a big room for us to, to play with our plan B. Okay? And what will your father say? That's the kind of controversy I'm trying to create. See, my father will, will hate him so much that he wouldn't want Ada to come closer. Even if she wants to forgive him. She won't. He'll send me out of this house if he finds out I was sleeping with his daughter's fiance. Sweetheart, don't worry. I can't handle that. Ralph. Yes, darling. You don't love me, do you? You know I love you. You know I love you so much. No, you don't. You don't. Else you never ask me to go and sleep with another man. Even if you want to achieve something, you won't. I'm a practical man. I do what is necessary whenever it is necessary. See, when all this drama, all these things are over, we'll come back together and pretend as if nothing did happen. It is not fair. I mean, you have two firms in your conglomerate that makes use of the kind of services Megasoft offers. So you think I should um, award him the contract because he's about to marry my daughter? No. You give it to him because he is qualified. Dad, he came, he's going bankrupt. If you don't help him, who will? Did he ask you to see me? No, Dad. He came out of the policy that he would not ask for financial or business assistance from you. So you don't see him as, as a gold digger? Then it shall remain so. Any man who wants to marry my daughter must prove that he is a successful business manager. So that you're going to just fold your arms? and watch him go down the drain? Mm, if he can keep the business afloat until you are married, when you become the MD of the group, then you can award him the contract, not before. What if it becomes too late by then? Then I'm afraid, my dear, I shall not be able to give away your hand to him in marriage. You know what, Dad? Even if Ikem becomes poor, I will go ahead and marry him. Irrespective of what you or anyone thinks.
whatever option you are taking. Sleeping with Miss Inkoli is not one of them. So what other option do you have? No, tell me, what other option do you have? My life sweat is currently being taken away from me. Now, cheating on Ada is way better than not getting married to her. If I fail in business, Chief Dozier will not let me get anywhere close to his daughter. Don't you understand? Listen, Mary Kim, I don't know what to think anymore. This is what you should think of! Phil and Patrick are about selling their equity to that cursed woman. If that happens, that means I have failed and Chief Dozier will cancel the wedding. I should just give that woman what she wants so she can just leave me the hell alone. Listen, family comes first. You're first of all my cousin before being a dad's friend. So you have to stick with me on this one. Do you understand me? And that's one reason why I've been keeping your past affair with uh, Sophia. From her. It hurts my mind it, each time I remember that I'm keeping such thing away from her. Fine. Consider what she will think of me when she got to find out that you slept with her brother's wife. Hey. And even got her pregnant. Hey, hey. Slow down, okay? Slow down. Because when I was dating Sophia, she wasn't her brother's wife. And again, the way you talk about Sophia, I think first of all, you should point an accusing finger at yourself first of all. Because you're the one who introduced her to me. You're the one who brought her to my house. Yes. I was trying to help the poor lady now. I was my poor friend. Who has no place to go? Really? How interesting. Up here. Didn't you commission me to go and seduce your stepsister's fiance? You've never met a game before. One on one. Settling up at night. It should be in the day. Why didn't you just allow me to do it my way? Hmm? Listen, I cannot leave you like this, alright? I cannot leave you the way you're looking. Baby, what is wrong with you? Are you contemplating that I might commit suicide or something? Or something? I don't know what to think anymore. I just want to be with you, okay? Baby, what will your father say if you sleep outside your home this night? This is also my home. He can say whatever he wants to say. I'm not leaving. I'm staying. Darling, you cannot stay here, okay? You just can't. Enough problems on my table already, and I cannot add mistrust to it. That's enough reason for your father to call off the wedding. Don't you see it? Yes. You are not staying here, and don't argue. I am staying, darling. Don't argue. I am Baby, staying. Baby, no, you cannot stay. What's wrong with you? Stop. same man that you acquired power to seduce about two years ago? Yes, Mr. Kwon, he is. But he broke out of my spell and I still do not know how come. But I warned you, I warned you that this could happen. A man that is truly in love is hard to fall prey to a sudden stress. My mission this time is not the same. Fine. Then I wanted him for kids. But now, I have a different purpose. It doesn't matter what your purpose is. I just want to let you know that there could be consequences. I don't understand, Mr. Kwon. If a man who has broken through this sham before is again entrapped in it by the same lady. She could suffer severe consequences. Yes. 
Consuming fire. His hands are clean. Leave him. Is my daughter with you? I'm, I'm, I'm sir. Uh, Talk to me, young man. I'm, I'm sorry. It, it actually got late and I couldn't let her put her life at risk by getting on the road, sir. You're lying to me. Oh, I am disappointed in you. That you will make my daughter sleep in your house. I don't know and I want it to be that way there are some certain things about me I don't want her to know and where are you coming from? excuse me oh you've been in your boyfriend's house huh when has my affairs become your business um sister you know our father is hypertensive and uh, I mean you keep doing things to get him upset Well, our father was knocked off last night. He's upstairs with his personal doctor. Are you serious? Oh my god! Oh my god! I thought you hate him so much. Since when did you start picking interest in his head? I intend to force him to rewrite the will. He dies without rewriting the will. That bitch, that bitch gets 60% of all his assets. And I want him. I want him to be alive. I want him to do it. Where were you last night? If you're coming with this same question, stop freaking yourself up! Because I've told you everything! Of course you've not. You've not told me everything. And I won't stop asking you until you tell me the truth. Now tell me, where were you last night? For God's sake! Where would I have been? I was at Ikem's house! Is that all you have to tell me? Huh? So you think I'm stupid? That I was sent on such a delicate assignment without preparing my ground? The other day I went out with Ada. What did you think I went to the in-game's house? I was there to bribe the security man 
so he will tell me all the happenings in the house and he told me you were nowhere close to the house last night so tell me Sophia where were you last night where were you now let me guess let me guess you seized the opportunity I gave to you to go and see one of your numerous boyfriends that you be eyeing isn't it Sophia you're going to tell me where you went last night you're going to tell me now at the moment. The doctor has not spoken yet. He... I just feel that I'm the, I'm the cause of this sickness. Alright. It's okay. 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 You know what? Calm down. I am coming there to be with you. Alright? Just calm down and don't exchange words with your papa. Alright? You know... Okay. Yeah, bye. Alright. I was expecting you'll be here by now, or have you forgotten we have an appointment? Huh? Am I talking to someone? I'm listening. If by nine o'clock you are not here, I will make your life so miserable that you regret the day you okay, were born. Okay, okay. Now, bitch, I am coming to give you what you want so you can leave me alone. Hurry up, Kim. I feel so lonely. Hurry up. You refuse to own up. Ah, Sonia. You refuse to own up. And that was in the house last night. It would be impossible for you to have slept there. Where did you sleep? Now, where's the evidence? Where's the, where's the evidence? I told you to drug him, use your phone and record everything you did with him. So where is my evidence? I drugged him, but he didn't drink. What the hell do you want me to do? Don't you dare walk away from me. Don't you dare walk away from me. Next time you dare walk over, I will drag you. Where's my evidence? Wait, 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 there was peace in this. Come on, the pillow. There was peace in this house. It's okay. Not until you came with your witchcraft. It's okay. You ruined everything. You ruined everything. Don't worry. I'll talk you to the house. Man! Just take things easy, okay? You know, your brother could be very, very unreasonable at times when he's upset. He's actually right, you know. I am. Um, I came here to ruin the peace in this house. I shouldn't have come back in the first place, you know. Oh, God. If anything happens to my father, I will never forgive myself. I will. <laughs> I don't know why all this is happening. I'm just so
is he there yet? He just arrived now. Okay, keep me updated. Sure. So, um, tell me, um, what's the guarantee that after today you're not going to come disturbing me for more? So you actually think I'm attracted to you? I only want to teach you that nobody ever walks out on me and remains happy. Are you worried about my friend? You don't have to. I actually invited her here to watch me do this with you. So relax, huh? Relax. Feel free, okay? Don't bother. Just pretend as if I am not here. Enjoy yourself, okay? Relax. Hmm? What it is? I've got a phone call. Phone call? Yeah. You're not permitted here. Sorry, I have to pick this one. you're going through right now. I really do. I know that you're going through difficult situations. I understand. Just take care of yourself for me, okay? I love you and I will always love you. Um, can I, can I, can I call you back? Uh, you know what? I'll, I'll, I'll call you back. I'll call you back. out on me. Hello? Hello, yes. Did you just hang up on me or it was just a network problem? I hung up on you. I just did. What? Who are you and what are you doing with my fiance's phone? Your fiance? My dear, he's in the bathroom. He went to the bathroom to clean up. And trust me, he was fantastic in bed.
That was harsh. Did you just see what you did to me? Who cares? Sophia! How dare you call another man's name on my bed? Huh? How dare you call another man's name on my bed? Did I? Of course you did. No. You were screaming, he came, he came, he came on my bed. No. Just about coming to check up on you. Oh, really? I called you yesterday. A woman picked up. Who is she? All right, um, da darling, I can explain everything. Oh, you have nothing to explain. So it all means that while I was in Europe studying, you were all around cheating on me. Darling, please, can you just let me explain, please? My father is sick because of me. All I did, I did for you. Hey. I mean, how, how could you hey. do this to me? Hey, stop! Hey, stop! And let me explain, please. Hey. I should sleep with her, else she'll liquidate my company solely. And your father has been making things worse, you know, threatening me, saying that if I lose my firm, he won't let me marry you. But I've told you times without number that I will stand by you. And how long will you endure? No, tell me, how long? I mean, you disobeyed your father, your father fell ill. How long will you keep enduring that over and over again? Tell me, no, so tell me. You went ahead and slept with her? I didn't. I almost did. I almost did. Darling, but when I heard your voice on the phone, I just couldn't. I know the intent was bad, I know it was wrong of me. But anything I tried to do was because I love you and I fear losing you. about him. I hate myself so much for loving him. And I and I hate him for, for what he did to me more than a year ago. I'm afraid it has begun to happen. I warned you. I warned you there could be consequences if you go ahead with the ritual. When that photograph caught fire, it brought your hatred for him. Likewise the love for yourself. Your hatred for him will be turned against yourself, and your love for yourself will be turned on him. I don't get you, Mystic One. You will love him, and at the same time, hate yourself for loving him. The truth is, 
you will not be able to love your husband again. <laughs> After the scandal that happened when he left his cell phone in the colleague's house, I thought that that was going to be the end of their relationship. I don't understand the kind of love between them. It's similar to the kind of love between you and I. I never wanted to get married to Sophia, but I did it because I wanted to gain a position for my father's business empire. And you know, my father wanted me to get married before he would ever give me the position as the ending. I was waiting for the right time to come for you. Raf, if you truly love me, you couldn't have dumped me in the first place. Stella. Stella, it wasn't my making. My father spelled it out. Since Sada is engaged to him, there was no way both of us could get married. She never liked the idea. Of his kids getting married from the same family. He could have disobeyed him, but he did not. Why? Because of your greed. Greed for wealth? Power? That's why you don't me? What, so what am I even? in my father's goodwill. What if we did not succeed? This is just a game. We might lose, we might gain. I mean, what if we fail? What will happen? Our only hope is for Sophia to be able to see this again. What if she discovers that? using her so that you and I could get married. Remember the land that you gave me? Mm -hmm. What about it? I, I, I want to sell it. Ikem needs money to recapitalize his firm. Well, why seek my approval over something that belongs to you? Dad! 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 Mr. Phil is not picking my call. I hope he hasn't changed his mind. I still don't get you, Nicole. You're spending so much to buy shares from a company that's about to be liquidated. Do you think I'm stupid? I never intended buying any share. I only meant to intimidate him and make him come back in. But it appears the whole thing is not working. like I'm going to change my strategy. Yes, that is exactly what I'm going to do. Excuse me. No, 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 no. Darling, I'm not going to let you do that. You just can't sell that land. 
It's a gift from your father. I am only trying to help you. I can just watch you suffer. I can't. Darling, everything will be fine. Okay, let me give you this good news. Phil and Patrick are no longer sending their shares to Miss Nkot. How about that? Why? Why did they change them? I don't know, but that's good news, right? Or is anything the matter? <laughs> Phil was in my office some days ago. Excuse me? And he came to see my stepbrother. What? If that's the case, it all means that he and Ralph Trust me, those plans definitely are not in your favor. <sighs> if what you said about her encounter with the native doctor is any way true, then she should be all over again by now. Maybe she's resisting it, but I wonder how long she will be able to do that. We just, we just have to wait and see. There is no time. There is no time. He came partner suddenly decided to move in with him, and there are signs that his business will soon bounce back. I will not die. You see, he's already in my dad's bad book. You know, the other day he let her dad to sleep in his house. That cumulated to my father being hospitalized. We don't have to rely on that. Okay? We'll have to tidy up our own side. The other option is, what if we persuade Sonia to make public her relationship with him? Um, he came two years ago. Are you out of your mind? Stella, see. Ada will not only dump him, but my father will hate him so much. What about me? Do you think your father will not hate me? For being the one that brought the lady to seduce Ikem? No. No one will know that side of the story. If we let the story out of the bag, we don't know what it will turn out to be. Okay. What were you doing in Ralph's office? I don't understand what you're talking about. You were with him. Planning on how to ruin me, right? Huh? Well, if you care to know, Chitosia came to me. You're planning on ruining me, isn't it? Get your hands off me. You think I'm lying? Just wait. to be here in the next 30 minutes. Please, please. Please, so that you can have him, please. Oh, that's... I will text her that to be here as soon as possible. If you continue like this, you get taught. But if I walk out of Ralph's life, where will I go? Hmm? I guess I should walk into your life. Okay. Why can't you just open up if you have feelings for me? If you like me? I might say yes, you know. You never could tell. Are you so blind that you cannot see that Raf is using you to achieve his aim of getting married to Stella? Now I know you're an idiot. Stella won't even go close to Raf. 
she hates him so much for choosing his father's wealth to her. She's only pretending. She's bent on getting married to Raf. Was that not how she manipulated you two years ago so that you seriously came to leave Ada and get married to you? That way he, she gets married to Raf. Wait, wait, wait. How did you get to know about my affair with Iken two years ago? You see why I told you that they're deceiving me? Raf told me. <laughs> no. <laughs> Raf could have told you. Because he, he never knew about it. Let me start from the beginning. Two years ago. Well, I have made myself clear. You cannot marry Stella, Ikem's cousin. Ikem is already engaged to your sister, Ada. Dad, you can't decide for me. Two people from the same family cannot marry my children. In that case, Ada will be the one to disengage with Ikem. Because I want this against Stella. Mm. Ada and Ikem got engaged long before you met Stella. And I have given my approval to their relationship. Should you decide to disobey me, you will never have any meaningful position in my company. Just reconsider, okay? They're in love with each other and that is all that matters. Oh, my dearest. You don't understand. You see? What if we can and Stella decide to terminate you and take over my property after I'm gone? Dad. Learn the lesson. Never trust anyone to infinity. I don't. I'm not sure I know enough about uh, Ikem, let alone his cousin, Stella. When she failed to make him marry Ikem, she still wouldn't let her out. You just be a man. Be a man and take your destiny in your hands. Must your father choose for you? You know the situation, on girl. Ada has just a year to spend in school. Once she's back and get married, she may be chosen to take over from my father as the MD. But sweetheart, if I get married before then, my father would see me as responsible and what he do on his company. Raf, Raf, you've made enough money. Let's just get married and live our own lives. Please, must you remain in your father's friend? Very well then. Since your great for position has consumed you, sweetheart, permit me to choose. Easily manipulated. You think you have brought up the plan of making you seduce the game? Stella did. She had this plan at the back of her mind. Even before you got married to, to Ralph, to have you seduce the game some weeks to his wedding. You're playing into their hands. If you succeed, though I know you won't, but paraventure you do. Chief Dizzy said to Paki, Ada Jesse came, Stella marries Ralph. Well planned. Sophia, right? Sophia? Who 
who's Sophia? Oh. <laughs> you don't remember who Sophia is, right? The same girl that you introduced to Iken two years ago. I, 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 I don't understand what you're talking about. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, you don't know what I'm talking about, right? The same girl that you connived with Raf to sleep with Ikem while I barge in on them. I think there is a mistake somewhere. What is this thing for you to You think I'm stupid? You think I'm dumb? The juice you gave me. Do you think I actually drank it? I flushed all of it down the toilet. You know what? As we speak. Sophia is undergoing counseling to stop the plot of destroying my union, you and Ralph Ashed! Of course you do know the time in this house is over. Yes. So you have to go back your things. Now my next question to you is... Do you think Chidozi will allow a girl who can be between such evil marrying his own son? I actually thought that Sophia was the devil, but now I know better. You are the devil! <gasps> you are terrible! in this house is over. Yeah, as a matter of fact, you are old enough to leave your father's house and uh, go and be on your own. You should be the one to decide that and not you. You will not step into this house. I will not have my enemy under my roof. You see, I pretended as if I didn't know what evil you were planning for me. Well, now I will tell you all about it. You were going to use the, the contract that the Ministry of Works was going to award us in the first quarter of this year to entrap me in a financial mess. Then you want to forge my signature. And, and get me involved in a financial uh, uh, malpractice. Then you will come to me, threaten me, that unless I tear up the, the, the will and make another one, making you the, the, the not only main, but 90% owner of the entire will, you will go to EFCC and dance with this information. You've made no sense in all you said. You've made no sense at all. And you don't have any proof towards this allegation. <laughs> Do you remember what I told you? That practical men always think ahead. And they use practical means to outwit their opponents. Do you remember when you met this young man two years ago. Yes, he was resting his head, yes. Uh -huh, now before that man told him that the head is too big, I should take it. I have finished that for your phone. Uh, 
as long as I'll call you back. Don't be careful. 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 Everything that happened on that occasion, I arranged it. He's my boy. You, you bastard. You see, when I discovered that uh, you are a wicked, overambitious son, I decided I was going to protect myself and my daughter from you. And uh, who should I, who should I pick to be my ear and eye? Very successful. Thank you. I'll kill you. I'll kill you. Deal with you. Before you get carried away, why don't you ask Stella why she wants you dead? <laughs> hide anymore. There is nothing to hide anymore. You think I accepted to seduce him or help you implicate your father in a financial mess and then force him to write it through just for the money you paid me? Ha! Listen to me, Ralph. The plan was that after you have married Stella, she terminates you and your father and then shares your inheritance with me 50-50. Mr. Colin, don't call me! And you thought she will actually connive with you to kill me. Huh? No wonder you were so eager to help me force my dad to write his will. So he will give me 90% of his inheritance. You're a witch. I call it you're a witch. And you! Stop it! everything too and I beg you in the name of you please leave my house where do you want me to go where I lost everything as well look at Raph so where do you want me to go that is not my business I lost everything too
So how is Miss Nkoli? <sighs> She's in coma. While Stella is in the police net. You know, it's funny. When Stella raised the idea of me linking up with Miss Nkoli, I would feel to task. But... <laughs> Stella insisted I take it up. I withdrew almost immediately. That's what it was. Little did I know that Stella actually had an ulterior motive. And she pretended all these years to be my friend. <laughs> That's... That's really crazy. Like, who does that? <laughs> crazy. Yes, come in. you I have something to tell you. And that is why I am here. No, 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 thank you. I would rather stand. Thank you very much. I am responsible for the uh, financial quagmire you found yourself. And um, I was responsible for the near collapse of your company. Well, I intend to rebuild it. As a matter of fact, the rebuilding has already commenced. Um, this is the Rita, um, a, a private detective. And uh, of course, you both know of you. When I discovered that my son was fraternizing with uh, Nkoli, I employed the services of Rita to get close to her and monitor everything she did and when I heard that um, Nkoli was uh, Nkoli was um, after you I said to myself ah this is good <laughs> time to test the loyalty and faithfulness of my son-in-law or not so I put some more squeeze on your on your finances. Oh yes, I asked Phil to pretend to be selling his shares of this company. Don't call it. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy, I'm really getting confused here. You mean that you're the one responsible for all the financial distress Ikem has been going through all these months? Yes. What is wrong with you? I mean, what is wrong with you, Dad? Are we some science project or what? Huh? What is wrong with you? Dad, I do not like it. I don't. Ah! Ah! I'm sorry. I'll, I'll get you. Just calm down. Thank you. 